Hello everyone and welcome to Astrology Beans. I am your host Alyssa and today we will be talking about the astrological chart of Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum, the Crown Prince of Dubai. And this chart was actually highly requested and unfortunately I do not know his time of birth so I'm unable to get his full chart. I don't know his ascendant and the reason why your ascendant or your rising sign is so important in your astrology chart is because that's what sets up the whole chart. It's in your it's the ruler of your first house. Um, your first house is your sense of self. It's who you are. It's who you present to the outer world. Um, a lot of people think your sun sign is it, but it's actually your rising sign that sets everything up and shows the world who you are. It's like your first impression when you first meet somebody or when you see somebody, you're seeing their rising sign. So I am going to make four separate videos. Today in this video I'm going to talk about a few little facts, um, little things that I've noticed about his chart, um, and then I'm going to talk about his sun and his moon. The next video will be discussing his Mercury, his Venus, and his Mars. All of those, the sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars are all of his inner planets. Then I will talk the next, the third video, excuse me, will be Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. The fourth video will be discussing his aspects. So let's begin. We have a date of birth for November 14th, 1982. That was a Sunday. And the moon was a waning crescent. So something I noticed about his chart when I first looked at it is that it is highly Scorpio dominant. He has a Scorpio stellium and his dominant, so his dominant sign is Scorpio and his dominant planet is Pluto. His planets make a bundle and what a bundle shape is in an astrological chart it's when all of the planets appear within a span of 120 degrees or within four signs. So you can see here the four signs are Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Libra. His inner planets are majority water and then he has the one Earth, Capricorn and Mars. So he has very little fire in his chart. Um, he's about 58% water, about 20% air, about 12% earth, and about 9% fire. And when somebody has very little to no fire in their chart, that lacks warmth and enthusiasm and energy. But I don't think that's the case for him um, because of other aspects in planets and the signs that they fall into. So the thing with astrology is that nothing is 100% for every single individual. One person may have very little fire in their chart and those traits apply to them. Another person may have very little fire in their chart and that doesn't apply to them. It, it's all how everything balances itself out in your chart. Something else that I noticed is that he has Venus in Scorpio and Pluto in Libra. And those two planets are in their signs of rulership. And that's actually a very good thing because when you have two planets like that in their signs of rulership, it gives e it, it helps and it gives each other strength. Um, they help each other out. So that's a good thing to have. Um, a few other things I noticed, he's about 58% fixed. So stability is big in his life. He likes stability. He's a stable individual. 
32% cardinal and 9% mutable. So let's begin with his moon, or I'm sorry, excuse me, his sun. Now, your sun sign is the core of who you are. So earlier I had mentioned that your rising is kind of like your outer armor, um, who you present yourself to other people, how others see you. Your sun sign is the core of who you are. So all of your planets and all of your signs are very important. Um, when somebody sits there and asks you what's your sign, I mean, logically you can sit there and say, well, which one? You are made up of multiple signs. There's your sun, your moon, your Mercury, your Venus, Mars, Jupiter. I mean, they all play a role in who you are and how you show yourself to the world, your personality, how you deal with things, how you work, how you love, how you fight, like how you communicate, like they all play a role. So you're not just one sign. You're not just your sun sign. You're more than that. And some people even say, I don't identify with my sun sign. And that could be that you maybe identify more so with your rising, or maybe you identify more with your Venus or your Mars or something else like that. It happens. Um, you're not always just your sun sign. You're a combination of all of those. And that's what makes you unique. So, okay, let's talk about Sun and Scorpio. So these individuals, um, oh, another thing before I begin, you are going to hear a lot of common traits among these signs. You're gonna be like, you already said that, you said that, you said that. It's, <laughs> so to sum up his chart, honesty and truth go a long way with him very intelligent, very passionate. Um, those are the three things that really stand out to me and that's his Scorpio. Like it's really, um, he, he's a lot of Scorpio. So when I start talking about sun and moon, I'm going to say a lot of, you know, like honesty is a big thing here, honesty is a big thing there. It's because it's just, you know, the common trait so, Sun and Scorpio. These individuals, and your son, his son is right here. Oh, and another thing that I want to talk about, everything in his chart is not 100%. And by that, I mean not every individual is 100% the things I say. These are just common traits among these signs. Um, so I may say that he is, you know, honesty goes a long way with him. It may not. It may not. Um, I may say that, let me think, he seeks out genuine connections with individuals. Maybe he doesn't. I, You know, there's... Scorpios are not carbon copies of one another. So just kind of keep that in mind when I read these off. Um, and when I talk about these traits, don't automatically assume this is how this individual is. It's a guesstimate. It's a probability. Um, and also anything that I say here is not factual. So don't take it as fact. It's This is just for entertainment purposes, it's just for fun, it's just to talk about. So just kind of leave it at that. So okay, now back to Sun and Scorpio. So Sun and Scorpio, these individuals are very lively and highly intelligent. They're extremely passionate with their emotions. Hence, he's a poet and his poetry is oozing with passion and emotions. I mean, you can just hear it. Um, 
they yearn for genuine connections with individuals. And again, I go back to his poetry. Um, his poems, it, we don't know who he's writing about, what he's writing about, but they're so passionate. And you can tell that he is, he either like yearns for a connection wants that person or individual or or thing or whatever he's talking about like you can just hear it in his words so these individuals tend to want the genuine honest connection and this is where i go back to being truthful they are truth seekers you cannot fool them with your intentions so if you meet a Sun and Scorpio, and you're not being honest with them, you're not being genuine with them, they're going to figure you out, and that's going to be it. They don't have time to deal with your games, they don't have time to deal with you not being your genuine self. And you can't fool them either. So, say you were to meet him and have, I don't know, tea with him. He's going to sniff out your lies. He's going to sniff out if you're being real or if you're being genuine with him. Um, so don't try and act like someone that you think he would like to talk to. or And this goes in general for Sun and Scorpio. And you know what? Now that I think about it, this goes in general for everyone anyway. Like, just be yourself. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. Just be who you are. Be honest and, you know, life will be a lot easier if you are just your genuine self with just anyone and everyone. So they, so the reason why they are all about individuals that are genuine to themselves is because they themselves are unique and are always themselves. Um, and they'll appreciate others that they keep close to them for being genuine as well. When I said that they're unique, they march to the beat of their own drum. They tend to go against the grain in society standards and norms. They want to be themselves in every single way. And if they don't agree with what society dictates, they don't care, they're going to do what they want to do anyway. And honestly, I love that about them. Um, they just, they just don't care, and that's great. So that is Sun and Scorpio. Lastly, I'm going to talk about his moon in Scorpio, and your moon is how you feel. Um, it's your emotions, and it's a, a water sign. Scorpio is a water sign. Your water signs are Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Um, so he has, like I said, he has a lot of water in him and water signs tend to, that's where you get your emotions from. Um, so there is a quote that I've read and it says, you only know a part of me. I am a universe full of secrets. And when I read that quote, I instantly thought of a moon and Scorpio. They are full of secrets. It's like deep, 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 deep secrets. Like the Mariana Trench of secrets. Like they are that deep, that full. Like you will only see the tip of the iceberg of any type of secret or any type of information from them. Um, they are just extremely, extremely, extremely guarded and they just have their guard up at all times and they have a hard time of allowing anyone close to them or allowing anyone to know too much of who they are. So think of a diary with a lock and key and then imagine that key is hidden in a totally different room than the diary is hidden in and that diary is hidden as well. Um, another way to look at it as when they do 
allow anyone to get close to them. They will, and they do. They won't show everything. They'll only show some parts of themselves, but another part of them will always remain hidden. So you'll get breadcrumbs. As you're getting to know them, they will throw out little breadcrumbs to you. And just keep in mind that you will never know the full 100% story or the truth because they will always keep a part of them hidden. Um, I, and I mean, you won't even know that it's hidden. Like you don't know their secrets and what they keep hidden. So it's kind of like you're not missing out on what you don't know is there. Um, however, this can come across as partially paranoid. Um, the thing with all of the astrological signs is that there are good things, positive traits and negative traits. Um, so if you say you met, I don't know, um, an Aries and you're like, oh my God, I don't, I don't like Aries. I, because I dated a, a, a guy or a girl who was an Aries and they were a hot mess. Um, not all Aries are like that certain individual. We develop our signs. We develop into them um, the positive and negative traits of every sign does come out. It's just how you handle them and work with them. It's all about working with them. So when I said that it can come across as a little bit paranoid of when he doesn't show his full deck or his hand to you, like playing cards, you know, um, that's, you know, that's just a Scorpio moon. Um, this can, I, I don't, I, I, I sat and I thought about this. I mean, in his position, he's world known. Um, he's not just famous locally within his country or within the Middle East. Um, he is world known. Um, so I can understand if he's even more guarded for that very reason, because there's always going to be somebody that wants to get a piece of him. Um, there's always going to want to be a social climber. There's always going to be want somebody after him to, for clout. I, I mean, this poor guy is, he's got all this Scorpio where he's hidden and then he's in the public eye like this. So of course he's going to be even extra guarded. So I kind of feel like he does kind of throw out little breadcrumbs with his Instagram. Um, he shares a lot of pictures of what's going on in his life. Um, little bits and pieces, you kind of get an idea of his likes you know, photography, animals, he's world traveler, loves to travel, um, highly athletic, you know, he throws out those little breadcrumbs, but he doesn't show you his whole life. Like he's in the public eye. Um, it, you would never ever see someone like him on like a reality show or even like showing you 100% of his life. Like he really does show you little breadcrumbs even with his little stories or whatever on Instagram. Um, he may show you a cup of coffee and that's it. That's it. That's all you get to see. That's his breadcrumb that he is tossing to you. And he likes it that way. And I think, I think because of how he is in the public eye, it needs to stay that way. Um, I know a lot of people would love to know more about him. Um, I personally would love to know his date of, or his time of birth. Um, but I just think for, you know, safety and just so people won't take advantage of him, you know, he needs to keep a lot of that to himself. And I almost wonder if, because on some other level, he knew he was going to be in this place here on earth and he knew he was going to be in the public eye. And so he needed all of the Scorpio energy to protect himself and to keep his secrets and to keep himself safeguarded. Um, think about some of these celebrities that show too much of their lives. Like they become a hot mess. 
they get these stalkers, they get these people that show up on their doorstep and it it's ridiculous. So I think it worked out the way it did and it was meant to be for him to have all of the Scorpio energy. So, okay, sorry, I totally went off in a different direction. Let me finish up the Scorpio moon. Um, where was I, where was I? Okay, there are extremely creative and accomplished. Um, just, they see things differently. Um, the word that comes into mind, like artistic. Um, and before I, no, I'm going to save that for the end. Okay. Um, their passions and emotions run hot and deep. Um, they're just very, very, very passionate individuals. On the outside, they will look very calm, collected, like they got their stuff together. But on the inside, this is where their emotions are flowing. Their passions are flowing. Like it's, it reminds me of the inside of a volcano. Um, however, they're not always calm. So don't think that Scorpio moons are always calm and they'll never react. When they react, you'll know when they react. Like they will be openly expressive and you'll know it. You'll be like, oh, okay, I didn't see that coming from you. Um, they can run hot and cold like a faucet. Some days they're, you know, great with you. But if you cross them, they will go cold on you and you are dead to them. So I think I mentioned this before. Just don't lie. Don't cross. Don't mess around with Scorpio moons. Um, but then on the other side, they are totally giving, sensitive, compassionate. They will give you the shirt off their back. They will give you their last dollar. They will give and give and give and give until they can no longer give anymore. And so, like I said, there's good and bad things about, um, each sign. You know, like I said, they can go cold on you in just a second, but then, on the flip side, they are just like so warm and passionate. It's, you know, it just depends on the day and how they're feeling. Um, the last part that I wanted to save is a bit sensitive, but the only reason why I'm including this in here is because it is a part of the chart. And please, 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 I go back to just because I say it doesn't mean it's 100%. It's a trait. You can Google it, look it up on Google. Um, the moon represents your mom and with a Scorpio moon, you may have had a hectic relationship with your mom. They may have had experienced manipulation and or a controlling mother. Now I want to go back and say again, because <laughs> I can't emphasize this enough that not all Scorpio moons have bad relationships with their mom. So I don't want you to sit there and be like, oh my God, he has a bad relationship with his mom. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that he could. He could be one of the Scorpios that did. Do I think so? I don't know. I don't know the guy. I can't, I, I don't want to comment on that. From what it looks like from the breadcrumbs that he shows us, it looks like he has a wonderful and amazing, relation, loving relationship with his mom. Do we know that that's a fact? We don't know. Again, breadcrumbs. He holds things to himself. Secrets go deep. So on that note, I will end this video. And like I said, for part two, I will go over Mercury, Venus, and Mars. And if you like this video, please like the little like tab below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I will go over them, especially if you have any questions. I know astrology can be very confusing if you don't know what you're looking at. Um, I know it can look like a foreign language. So if you want me to clarify something, let me know. I could probably make a separate video on that. Um, and if you want to see the other videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. Bye.